Welcome back, ninth graders. Let's go ahead and talk about how to write the introduction of your argumentative essay. Okay, I talked about the template that is an empower. Uh, if you're going to follow the method I'm going to go through right now, you will need a digital copy of this template. I believe I also gave most of you a hard copy of this template before we left school. So you may still have that, and that may be easier for you to use. Either way, it will work. You know, you can use either one in order to write this essay. Now, if you went into News ELA, this was one of the first articles that was attached to the text set for the Teachers with Guns topic. In this article, I've highlighted different examples of evidence, and this being an important fact, uh, this being an important statistic, and this being a quotation. This corresponds to these three choices here. Now, in any of these articles, there are multiple examples of all of these different types of evidence. This is just one example of each from one article that I provided you with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this important fact. Now, when you're doing the introduction, remember I said that the introduction has three parts. It has the topic introduction, which you can use one of these three choices in order to do. It ends with a thesis statement, and in between the topic introduction and the thesis statement is a transition from one to the other. I'm gonna go through the process. I don't want you to copy the exact sentences I'm going to write. I want you instead to look at this as an example of what it can sound like in order to do it on your own. Now, I'm gonna begin with an important fact. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these frames. This is probably the easiest one to use for an important fact. And if you remember this process from the informative essay, it's the exact same process. It's a very simple frame I can use, beginning with according to. I put a set of quotation marks, and then I put the title of the article. It's a pretty long title. So rather than write this entire thing, just assume I've done it here in between these quotation marks. And then I'll put a comma at the end there. And I'm gonna put another set of quotation marks in order to put my quote. So I would quote this entire fact right here. The bulletproof panels are designed to withstand multiple bullets from a handgun. And two of the season's best sellers are emblazoned with Disney princesses and Avengers superheroes. Uh, to save time and to make this video a little less tedious and boring, just assume I put that quote here in between those quotation marks. So my sentence would read according to the article In an era of mass shootings, bulletproof backpacks, parents and others turn to bulletproof paraphernalia. And then, quote, the bulletproof panels are designed to withstand multiple bullets from a handgun, and so on and so on, with this particular fact right here. Okay, the transition sentence, I can use this one right here, what this fact illustrates is. And I'm going to choose one of these words down here to follow that. Do I want how, why, what, or that? I'm going to go with how. Now, at this point, I have to look at this fact. And what does that fact teach us? What do we learn about this topic from that particular fact? Well, think about this. Okay, we're talking about backpacks. Backpacks normally don't come with bulletproof panels. They may have Disney princesses and superheroes on them already, but the bulletproof panels are something new. Okay, so I would say something like this fact illustrates is how normal backpacks is no longer normal. Because now backpacks have bulletproof panels in them. Now the thesis statement, remember, has two parts. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose, you're only going to choose one of these two frames. You don't actually have to use either of these two frames. But what these frames will do is allow you to kind of balance your thesis statement to acknowledge that there's another side, but then also stating your position and giving a summary of the reasons you're going to talk about. So your thesis statement might sound, might sound something like this. Some believe, teachers, and I'm going to fill in the blank with the topic, although some believe teachers carrying guns would make schools less safe. And what I'm doing, is I'm assuming that I'm going to write in favor of teachers carrying guns. Obviously, your thesis statement would be different if you're taking the opposite side. Although some believe teachers carrying guns would make schools less safe, comma, the reality is. Reality is, armed teachers, and again, I'm just writing this in a way I want you to make this your own. I'm just showing you what it can look like. Students when no one else can. All right, I forgot for something very important. Um, I want to go ahead and add the word because. Okay. And here I want to give some kind of summary of the reasons that I'm going to discuss in this essay. What am I going to present as the reasons uh, teachers carrying guns uh, would help protect students? Well, let's see. Maybe something like because only guns. against other guns. And again, this is just an example of what it can sound like. Obviously, this is just something I want you to make your own. Okay, so go ahead and use this information to write your introduction. And by the way, I also want to make the point that this template is not required in any way. These sentence frames are not required. Your intro the only thing that's required is what's on the very far left side of this uh, template in that you do have to have a topic introduction, you do have to have a thesis statement, and you do have to have a transition that gets you from one to the other. That's the only part that's required.